CP and welcome to your new newscast. I'm Jackie. And I'm Jack. And we're your new hosts for the show. First off, we want to thank everyone for wearing blue on Tuesday and donating to the Prostate Cancer Foundation. Our wrestling team did excellent against the Northwest Christians and the Valley Christians. The Knights won both matches by large margins. Congratulations to our wrestlers as they start their season with an unbeaten record of 2-0. We'd like to wish them good luck again as they compete in the Buckeye High School uh, tournament this weekend starting today at 11 a.m. In addition to the wrestlers, we would like to give the best of luck to our junior high contestants at today's annual spelling bee at 8. Good night. Go Knights! As for after school, we have four awesome teams competing as well today. Make sure you wish good luck to our speech and debate team as they go to Arcadia High School to compete today and tomorrow at the Winter Trophy. Here's a little review of our last competition. Enjoy! Slacker. <laughs> Follow the speech and debate team on our Instagram and YouTube channel at Papa Runs for both. For the other three competing, two of them are amazing junior varsity and varsity girl basketball teams who will be competing at Casa Grande High School. JV starts at 2.30, varsity starts at 4.30. As for the last team, varsity boys soccer will be playing against Arietta Prep at 6 p.m. Let's be there to cheer them all on. Keeping up the spirit of charity, the Winter Wishes Dance for Charity will be this Saturday at 7 p.m. and 10 p.m. Tickets are $15 without activity card and $18 at the door. As for those with an activity card, the price of entry is nothing. Though the donation of $5 is strongly encouraged because all proceeds from the dance will be donated to Make-A-Wish Arizona. Thank you all for all the support to this amazing organization. A few minutes later, the bear was spotted behind this home in Moreland Hills. This recreation identifies how witnesses say the bear escaped into the woods. Thanksgiving. I'm thankful for my family, my friends, and all the food we had. I was thankful for my math teacher giving me test corrections. <laughs> I was thankful for my family, friends, and life. I'm thankful for my friends and family and not having homework that weekend. The Phoenix Zoo. That was the only thing good that happened. I'm very thankful for all the pumpkin pie because it's pretty good. I was thankful for that we didn't have school. We had a really long break, really relaxing. Uh, I was thankful for, well, being my first year here at ACP, teaching full time. So I'm thankful for that. That was that's probably the biggest one. Bread and potato rations. I was thankful for the lunch. Good morning, Knights, and today we will be interviewing men's varsity soccer captain. Seamus McCarthy, so let's get started. So Seamus, after coming off of an undefeated regular season, what's your goal for this season? 
the team goal for this season is probably to do as well as we did the last season, of course, and then um, also try to make it to the state championship this year. As a three-year varsity player, what have you learned from your past seasons? Um, after running one-mile runs, two-mile runs, three-mile runs, four-mile runs, for Coach Alberto, it's probably uh, mental strength and also ice baths. And what has been your best memory from your high school career so far? My best memory would probably be either scoring a goal at the homecoming game last year or scoring five goals at the beginning of the season this year. All right. What team trait do you think remained the same from last year into this year? I'd say the team's determination and perseverance to just always be working hard, always trying to make ACP proud. And what is your personal goal that you would like to achieve by the end of this season? By the end of the season, I really want to either get the MVP award or the Knight Award, and of course, just make the school happy and play well. All right. Thank you, Seamus, for your time, and good luck for the rest of the season. Now back to the studio. And hey, are you part of a one-of-a-kind culture or just proud of yours? Reserve a booth for your family from the Grand Festival where you'll be able to share food, artifacts, traditions, and so much more from your heritage. The Grand Festival takes place March 9th, but the reservation forms are due Friday, December 15th. Please consider signing up. The reservation forms are in the description below. Well, that's all for this week, ACP. We will see you next time. And remember, Knights, strive for the impossible. And be extraordinary.